to uh, a rocky path and a chimney. Okay, so creating those is, is not that difficult. All right, um, we can we can stop that that smoother part like uh, later. So rocky path and a chimney. So firstly, we go to here and create a simple box just like that. All right. Uh, raise it slightly higher, and then I think we're gonna make it slightly thinner to probably like 0 0.45. 0 0.45. Okay, and after that, I'm gonna create a simple box like this, and I'm gonna start like adding a chamfer to it. Okay, not that much. So you want to make it the brick size, the brick shape. Okay, and um, okay. So here's the thing: like, how do we populate those bricks around this this box? Okay. So we have quick ways to do it. So we go go to here, and I go to compound, and go to scatter. So in the scatter, this is a tool that allows us to like scatter basically across this whole thing. So pick distribution object and then click scatter. Done, all right? So scatter over on top, and then we we can go to here, and click duplicates. Okay, so there you go. Like um, probably not that much. Keep a bit of space, and then maybe we can click like areas, and then we're gonna add a bit of um, rotation in degrees. So we have like more details in the middle. Okay, that's better. All right. And then after that, we're gonna delete the original shape. So select all, and then unselect those. Okay. Then we can get this. The shift and sorry, probably not shift. And let's let's smooth it up. And let's reduce that. So I'm just gonna convert to ethical poly. Okay. So it's no longer referred to there. I'll go to here. Let's scale it bigger and scale it smaller. Okay. And I'm gonna create another box. I go to standard, go to here, create a new box, and add a chamfer. Okay, chamfer. And reduce that. Okay, I think that's good to go. Go back to here and uh, compound objects, and we go for scatter and pick distribution object. And here we go again. Okay, so base scale is it's like smaller, and probably a bit more. And then after that, we can go to transform and do the same thing. All right, add a bit of uh, values, okay. So uh, at the moment we don't have a hole at the top, okay. But uh, that's, that's not a big deal because we're running from here. It doesn't matter. Okay, and we're good. We okay, select this, and select that, and then we can click to the the ships in the middle, okay. So from here we can flick it. All right, next we're gonna make a path. We go to lines. Okay, click, 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 click. Okay, and I shift and make a copy. I can rotate over. Okay, so now I think we have to start like making cameras. So probably um, looking at from from this view. Okay, that's a good one. All right, so we can click Control C with perspective. Okay, so you can see that here it creates camera. So we can go back to the four views and then we click C in the top. And then we can click P right over here and go back to perspective. Okay, so I'm gonna move this one slightly closer. And this doesn't look looks good enough because the curve doesn't seem to be smooth. So we can kind of uh, do a bit of adjustment. Okay. But I prefer to work with like right click, go to smooth. Instead of that, uh, we call uh, Bezier. Okay. 
so it's easier to control. Okay, I think that's fine. You can see it's not smooth enough right there. So the text, select all and right click and go for smooth. Because it gives you that automated results, okay? Of course everybody likes automated results. Put it over. Okay, it's a nice looking path. And then we can turn off that render. Okay. So after all, uh, we don't need to render this. We just need to create this uh, rocky path. Okay. The first rock that we're gonna get here. And after that, we're gonna be looking into adding those lines. Two, two. And then we can convert to editable form and add a table spoon from top of them. Okay, so of course, like after that, we still need to add another edit poly. We want to change the shape a little bit, changing like that, and then maybe we can pull it down and add a noise to it, noise, noise modifier, and make it more random. A bit random shape. It is. Wow. Okay, so uh, not too crazy. Not too crazy. Okay, there you go. Hey, um, Max, I was thinking that this could be too thick, so we can reduce and scale it down. Okay, after that, like there's a very very good tool that allows us to align this towards the whole thing. Okay, so we can go to tool, and then we can go to align spacing tool, right there, and click pick, pick path. Click over here, and we're having 66. Okay. Maybe we're gonna reduce just a bit. Okay, so that, that is the way how it aligns to the whole thing. And I can click apply with the uh, stents. Apply. And then let's pick path again. Go to here. This one might probably need more. Okay, that's done. Let's click over here. This is what we have. Alright. And I think I accidentally moved cameras. Put it back here. And that's our original copy that we can delete. And then back to here, uh, we can add some adjustments like moving this bit, like rotate around. Okay, because purposely you want to make it a little bit off and chaotic. Okay, we have some small rocks. Okay, some big and small rocks. It's a combination. Where else, like, it looks like a centipede. <laughs> Okay, a bit off like that. A bit off. Okay, not so tidy. Okay, so that's done with the part four.